Welcome to this video. In the last video, we learned how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables using the substitution method. In this video, we will look at some interesting examples based on it. And we'll also see why we need the algebraic method for solving these equations. Solve the following pair of linear equations by using the substitution method. Do you remember that the substitution method has three steps? Can you tell what is the first step? Yes, we take an equation according to our convenience and express one variable in terms of the other. Here, we take equation 1 and express y in terms of x and denote it as equation 3. In the second step, we substitute the value of y obtained from equation 1 in equation 2. And solving it further, we get x is equal to 7 by 15. Now in the third step, we take the value of x obtained from step 2, substitute it in equation 3, and find the value of y. On doing so, we get y is equal to 17 by 15. We substitute the values of x and y in equations 1 and 2. And on solving, it can be proved that x is equal to 7 by 15 and y is equal to 17 by 15. This is a unique solution to this pair of linear equations. You can see that the solution of this pair of linear equations is not a whole number. When the solution of linear equations is not a whole number, then it is not suitable to use the graphical method because the chances of making an error while plotting these points are high. In this situation, linear equations can be solved using the algebraic method instead of the graphical method. Let's look at another example. Solve the following pair of linear equations by using the substitution method. First of all, let's take equation 2 and write x in terms of y. Now, substitute this value of x in equation 1 and on solving we get an incorrect equation without a variable. Can you tell me what it means? While solving the pair of linear equations in step 2, if we get a correct equation without any variable, then there will be infinite solutions to the pair of linear equations and if we get an incorrect equation, without any variable, then there will be no solution to the pair of linear equations. Because in this example, we got an incorrect equation without any variable, therefore, the pair of equations do not have any solution. In this video, we looked at some examples of solving linear equations in two variables using the substitution method. We also understood the importance of using the algebraic method. In the next video, we'll look at some commonly made mistakes while solving these questions.